Hi all. In this video, I want to show you the new tool that DRoots is developing for you. It's a desktop application that I will show you now with the main purpose of uh, centralizing deployment of our tools. It's a one way of deploying our tools, right? The free plugins, you know, the all well-known sheets and the DRoots one new bundle containing uh, sheet link, para manager, sheet gen, and all other uh, great tools that we developed for you. And the admin manager that will allow you to control the number of plugins that you actually show or Revit loads into their sessions. So uh, on the tools tab, you see that I only installed ProSheets, but I'm planning to install uh, DRoots 1. So what I can do, first of all, I can just run the installation process. You see the progress bar is downloading the installer. And of course, these versions are dynamic. For example, we will release 1.1.2 uh, and so on versions and you will see them in this application, probably get the notification and so on. And you see, okay, I can now run the installer. I will install for these versions. It will take a few seconds. And while taking these few seconds, uh, what we can do is we can take a look, for example, if we click Pro Sheets, we will see the overview of the tool. Of course, we will here see the more details. Uh, it's finished. So what we will see more details here and so on, link to our website, and of course the change logs. So you can see some enhancements that we are doing in, uh, for example, 1.2.9 version, some bug fixes that we are doing and so on. And you see the content is very readable, nicely laid down. And of course, for the roots one, you can go step beyond, beyond. It's now shown as install, and you see the list of features contained inside, such as we have family revisor, one filter table gen and so on these great tools. And of course, we can see the change log, okay? Uh, so what else you can do? Of course, you can search the tools because we will add more tools in the future here. It will be very rich list. We are developing the uh, Civil 3D tool, the Navis Works tool, the list goes on. And you will be able to search them. And let's see the new uh, add-in manager that we are introducing. Uh, Revit uh, has a limitation of number of tools that can load in your Revit session and show you, uh, present you as a ribbon, uh, a ribbon tabs. Uh, so let me show you one that I have at this stage. The roots one is installed, but for example, this DRoots MEP, I don't want to see as an example in this Revit session. So what I will do, I will close. I will type MEP as an example, and I will file the roots MEP and I will turn off. And uh, I can clear the selection and even I can save the profile, for example, and uh, call it all tools except the roots MEP as an example. So what I can do in future, I can switch the profiles and I show in my Revit session only tools that are of interest to me for a certain task that I'm conducting during the day or week or in the project. And uh, that's, all uh, for this initial release hope you like the tool uh, so far i'm personally enjoying the tool because it's now so easy to manage large number of the plugins add-ins tools that we are installing even during the software development process or just purely by using and relying on some tools hi everyone i will show you now the latest feature of the root sub manager which is auto clean rabbit journal files so all you need to do is go to settings and in settings, you will find an option to switch on the um, auto delete Revit journal files. So let's switch it on. And now what you want to do is to set how old the files need to be to get deleted. So I will just type uh, 10 days in my case. And the next thing you want to do is to set the recurrence. So if it will run daily, weekly, and so on. In this case, I will just select weekly. And then all you need to do is to close the application and your settings are automatically saved. So every one week, it will delete all the Revit journal files that are older than 10. 